My friends, I wanted to come on and do a counterpart reading. I felt called to do a counterpart reading today, so I grabbed my Twin Flame deck. Not my Twin Flame deck. <laughs> it's called Twin Flame Confession. I bought it on Etsy, um, and it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of tarot cards, but it's also other cards. Um, so let's have a look. So I'm going to do... I'm feeling like an in-depth Twin Flame reading, so you'll know if you resonate with the energy once it starts coming out. So let's have a look. I'm even wearing my black and white shirt today. Interesting. I felt called to wear black and white, so counterpart energy, yin and yang. So let's go. I'm going to shuffle. So right away, interesting, we have the Queen of Cups. So you could be someone in Queen of Cups energy right now. You see this person focused on their own cup. It does say magnetism, so you could be, you know, attracting in a lot of energy. You could be in the energy of self-love, you know, and once you hit self-love and you hit that energy of knowing that, oh, knowing that what you need is within you, not outside of you, you do become a magnet for abundance. Um, anyway, so let's have a look. We're going to go past energy first. Right away we have the hermit, solitude, soul searching. So I feel like perhaps after you, someone said, mention the signs. The reason I stopped mentioning the signs is because I see all of the signs in these readings. So, and we all have different signs and energies. Um, so again, some people want to hear the signs, but I've heard, you know, other reader readers say, we can say the signs, but we all have so many different signs that... You know, chances are, this is the the hermit card, chances are you're not, not everyone's going to resonate with dealing with a Virgo, you know, but anyway, we do have Virgo energy. Um, like yesterday, the reading I was doing, all of the kings came out. That's all of the energies, every sign. Um, anyway, so back to the energy. We do have Virgo energy here. So in the past, we see, you know, perhaps you met this person and that's when your soul journey started. Maybe your soul searching began after you met this person or maybe there was a separation with this person and that's when you realized that, you know, you had a soul contract with them that even after, you know, isolation, you were still thinking about them. And it could be that this person triggered you into awakening. The very first card that I showed you of this deck was the awakening card. So you could have been through an awakening after you met this person. We also have four of pentacles on the bottom. So in the past, uh, you and your counterpart could have went into separation, hermit energy, and it could have had to do with insecurity. We have four of pentacles on the bottom. So... Four of Pentacles, you know, it says insecurity, controlling, holding on to something. So you could have tried to hold on to this. But with this energy here, this Virgo energy, hermit energy, it feels like there needed to be some soul searching, perhaps, um, before the two of you could align. But let's have a look. That's what we have there. I think right away I'm seeing very clear energy of this person possibly putting you up on a pedestal so feeling like you're above them in some sense because we this is interesting we have the queen of pentacles so earth energy taurus virgo capricorn and the four of pentacles more earth energy lots of earth energy here um queen of pentacles and then we have this four of pentacles feeling like someone feels like they're not enough here so it could have been that this person felt like they weren't enough for you or perhaps your um, perhaps your confidence was lacking. Um, we have hiding feelings, feeling insecure. So I feel like this person hid that from you, that they felt insecure in your presence. Um, and, you know, maybe that's why they retreated here with the hermit energy. All right, so let's see... I actually want to get one more for past energy. I don't know why. I'm very cold to... I keep looking at... Um, I keep looking at my neighbor's camper van across the... Like, camper across the way. And it says Catalina on it. So I don't know if that's symbolic for someone. But I keep looking at Catalina. Um, we have ten of, pe ten of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles and the moon. 
uncertainties, complicated relationships. So the moon, divine feminine energy, Pisces energy. We also have Taurus with the five of pentacles, more earth energy, 10 of pentacles. So it feels like this person and you, I feel saw commitment in this 10 of pentacles, but it was very complicated. This connection was complicated with the moon energy. There could have been illusions, there could have been secrets and, you know, you could have been confused as to why this person suddenly disappeared or pulled their energy back. Five of Pentacles. I can't get over the Earth energy in these cards right now. Um, and we do. We have hidden forces at work. You needing to listen to your intuition. We have Five of Pentacles. So someone was left out in the cold here. Someone was rejected, was isolated with that hermit energy. And we have six of swords on the bottom, hanged man. So definitely a disconnect in the past. And, you know, perhaps we do have this energy, six of swords. Perhaps you tried to release this person, you know? Interesting. Let's see current energy. Current energy between you. What are you? Two of pentacles, juggling, weighing options. So it feels like right now the two of you are trying to find balance in your own lives. You could be weighing up the options in your life right now, trying to find balance, trying to find what belongs, what doesn't. And I feel like this person could be weighing up the options when it comes to this connection coming towards you. Um, for some of you, if you're talking to this person, I don't know if you are, but if you are, this person would be, it's a very inconsistent energy right now. So this person would be kind of, you know, if you are talking, it would seem like they weren't um, really prioritizing you or giving you enough of their time. You know, it's an inconsistent energy. We also have sexual encounter here. That is interesting. We have sexual encounter here and this juggling and what I'm hearing is that this person is weighing up the options about coming back towards you. Perhaps, you know, with counterparts um, in this deck here, in this love deck, it talks about counterparts and about divine feminine and divine masculine and about how the divine masculines need to come back to the feminine for some energy, for like a top up of energy. And that's why they go through that night of wands where they're inconsistent, where they're in and out, where they come back and then they're gone again. It's almost like they come in and they're like, they feel the energy, they get that validation. Again, I'm not saying they're doing it on purpose. A lot of it is subconscious energetic stuff, but it feels like when they get that validation that you're still there, that's all they need and then they're gone again. You know, that's where that night of wands energy comes from. So I'm almost seeing this person weighing up the options about contacting you. And perhaps, you know, they're this sexual encounter, you know, it feels like they're craving your energy. So it could be that, you know, they're weighing up their options about coming towards you for, you know, um, not the right reasons, for lustful reasons, for energetic reasons. Um, I'm seeing the devil card for some reason. Let's get another one for current energy. We have the sun, hiding feelings. So there's things to be said here that aren't being said. We have the sun. Oh, sexual encounter two of pentacles. I do see karmic interference. So for some of you, you would know about this. This person may be juggling, you know, a karmic. Um, we have growth, renewal, joy, happiness, and love. And I feel like this is your energy, sun energy. Now, remember, I was talking about how the divine masculine needs to come in for a hit of energy. So I feel like this person may be feeling called to come towards you. It could be that they're still juggling a karmic, though, for some of you. Again, I feel like you would know that. Um, very interesting. We do have karmic interference. So we also have eight of pentacles. So it feels like, to me, it feels like you are someone who's focused on healing, focused on investing in yourself that you're realizing you're worth the effort, you're worth investment, 
And, you know, I see you as someone investing in yourself, perhaps even perhaps even very focused on your creative endeavors, focused on things that bring you abundance and happiness and fulfillment and fill your cup up, you know? And I feel like your person is in the energy of, we have this karmic interference and it says dark side being exposed. And I feel like your person's dark side is being exposed. Sun energy, divine masculine energy. I feel... <clears throat> <clears throat> like they want to communicate. Um, <clears throat> what is happening? But I feel like perhaps things they weren't taking accountability for or they weren't looking at, they weren't seeing healing that needed to happen is now coming to coming to light here. They could have a codependent. Remember, I was feeling codependency or I was feeling that devil energy. So they could have a codependent attachment to a karmic partner. Um, anyway, interesting energy. You could be embodying you know, more masculine energy right now, knowing your worth, knowing that you're worth effort, putting an effort for. Anyway, we have, it's this energy of, like high priestess nobody's communicating about these feelings we also have wishing replaying events suffering in silence so that could be you you know they could be hiding their feelings or maybe you are and this person is replaying events in their head or vice versa so let's look at near future energy for you near future energy we have the ace of cups the knight of pentacles taking things slow so it feels like you i was not expecting this near future energy first of all focused on self-love you know um you could let's just leave this person there's that there's that tickling <laughs> every time i do readings i feel tickles on my face and i saw that that means like a guide is with you anyway I was just like, why am I, why am I feeling so tickly? <laughs> um, first of all, let's just take this person out of the equation for a minute. Um, what I'm seeing here, near future energy, you being very focused on self-love, being focused on yourself, you know, dedicated to yourself, knowing your worth. Remember that eight of pentacles. And the knight of pentacles is an energy of being like really dedicated to something. So I feel like you are very dedicated to something here in the near future, not having to do with this person. Maybe it's even dedication on self-love, on, you know, learning how to love yourself, treating yourself, you know, the way you want to be treated. Um, but I'm seeing what it's causing. It, this person is coming towards you with a cup. So right now it looks like they're learning karmic lessons. Dark side exposed. The sun. Hello. We're going to shine a light on that shadow. And near future energy, we see this person coming in with a cup here. Um, it could be that they're coming in with, it says, overwhelming emotions. We also have taking things slow. So it feels like this person very slowly coming towards you here in the near future. It could be that they come in, you know, with a cup saying let's just try talking let's see if we can just talk you know let's take things slow and see if we can just talk or be friends we're gonna get more though near future energy i told you i felt that devil obsession destructive habit or destructive love so near future energy, this could be a test, you know, like I said, this could be this person coming in for a little bit of your energy for a little top up. Again, they don't know what's happening. Um, it's happening energetically, it's happening spiritually. And it could be that sexual encounter, you know, it could be that this person is coming towards you saying that they want to take things slow and then they're offering, you know, a sexual encounter. That's not slow. <laughs> I mean, not to me. <laughs> um, anyway, it also could be this devil card could also be symbolic. I'm going to ask more about your person, but this devil card, it could be that they're releasing a karmic you know 
Um, so anyway, just keep that in mind. Near future energy. If this person pops in and says, I want to take things slow. And then they start, you know, flirting with you and saying, oh, can I come over? <laughs> Think about it, okay? Because it could be that double energy. Um, and it could just cause more resistance and blockages. Like I said, it could be a test, a destructive habit. You know, it could be that they're repeating a cycle with you. Maybe they've done this before. Um, anyway. I want to get one more. I'm being called to get one more for near future energy. That one wants to come out. We have the fool. So very interesting. Um, definitely that leap of faith. But are they taking it prematurely? You know, is this leap premature? I'm going to find out in the tarot cards or like in the in the questions I'm about to ask. Um, but definitely someone taking a leap of faith towards you here. Oh, King of Swords, truth and clarity. Truth, mental clarity, emotional detachment. Interesting. Let's get more. So let's see how... I want to look at this person's energy right now. Let's look at their energy. We have ripped apart. I'm telling you. I told you. Your dark side is exposed. I told you that was them. I told you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> ripped apart. Love exposed the truth. They're feeling very exposed. I'm hearing naked and exposed. Like not not that type of naked. Not that type of naked. Like vulnerable. Vulnerable in love. Love exposed the truth. They're feeling ripped apart. That's their energy right now. You know? And it's possible that they have that karmic in their life for some of you. And they're feeling this pull. They're feeling the need to cut that karmic off and to release themselves. We have manifesting you, wants you back, moving into alignment. So you could be someone who's moving into a higher vibration, higher alignment, and this person is that sun energy. They're being exposed because if they want to be up there with you in that high vibration, they need to get their, you know, what together before they miss the boat, I'm hearing. <laughs> I heard this thing the other day about how I heard this thing the other day about how there's a huge shift right now and anybody who doesn't get on that high vibration is being left left down there in the low vibration for a few months. Anyway, um very interesting with this manifesting. So they're feeling ripped apart trying to manifest you back. They could be trying to manifest communication from you and what I mean by that is no they're not sitting there with like intention candles and things like that and doing spells <laughs> but I feel like they're thinking about you all the time I think that they're looking at their phone they could be you know oh I, I really hope that person reaches out to me soon I really hope they reach out so that I don't have to reach out to them um we have queen of swords here so you could have your boundaries up with this person right now you know Anyway, interesting. Queen of Swords could also be, I've heard one of, a reader that I really love talks about how sometimes the Queen of Swords can be symbolic of cutting someone out of your life. And I'm not talking about you and this person. I'm talking about this person cutting a karmic out of their life. Interesting. Scissors could be symbolic. I don't know why. Maybe your person's a hairdresser or works with scissors. I'm seeing a pair of scissors. Maybe you cut the cord. Um, scissors, two of swords, a choice. Anyway, um, let's see how they're currently feeling about you. We have temperance. It's time. What? I told you it's time to go back for, listen, it's time for them to go back for their fix. What was I saying about, I, I called it. I said this card right here, this deck right here, the divine masculine card talks about how the divine masculine has to go back to the source of the divine feminine for energy and here we have temperance you know wanting that elixir healing elixir temperance wanting that fix of your energy because you bring them some type of you know i almost said regulation which is weird like emotional regulation anyway patience harmony perfect balance of love this is how they're feeling about you you know, so this person could have been very inconsistent with you in the past. They could have been like one foot in, one foot out temperance. 
But look, they're feeling like it's time to come back in for that energy, to drink from the pool of you. Like I'm seeing the temperance where someone's sitting at the water. Or like even the other day I was watching Lord of the Rings. I was watching Lord of the Rings. And there was that part where Pippin was drinking from the water that the trees... Anyway. Oh, that's what I was feeling. Like your person wants a, a fix. You know, I hate to say that term, but it's like they're coming in for a fix of your energy. And you know, how are they feeling? No more running. Divine intervention. Truth exposed. Remember? Light on. <laughs> It's like they've been in a dark room and someone turned on the overhead light. <laughs> anyway, three of cups. Wanting your friendship. Wanting to interact with you. Wanting that energy. Wanting your flow. <laughs> Remember. Um, let's get a few more for how they're thinking and feeling about this. Oh, Emperor! I told you, I told you. I knew it. First of all, we have the emperor. So remember this, no more running. This is the energy they're in about you. No more running, you know, the emperor. Um, divine masculine, no more running, you know, ready to step up for this, feeling that masculine energy. Again, for some of you, this isn't... This isn't a game. This is an energy thing with counterparts. And a lot of the time it's happening subconsciously, you know? And these lessons need to be learned. This energy has to, these cycles have to play out. This, I'm seeing by the book in this deck, which is number 11. And a lot of counterparts think, I don't need to follow the rules of counterparts, you know? I can, you know, skip some steps and make it work. Um... Anyway, I also want to talk about this card because there is this person, this emperor, is in another card rejecting a feminine. And what I'm seeing is this person, I feel like maybe they were like, no thanks to you in the past, or there was some kind of like pushback. And now they're realizing they've made a mistake here. In the past, they were in baby emperor energy, not feeling worthy of you. Now, they're feeling, you know, like they want to take action towards you. Um, anyway, and waiting. Feelings of neediness, hoping you'll return. What did I say? Checking their phone. Manifesting you. Trying to manifest communication. Hoping that you'll reach out first so they don't have to. They need to reach out first. You know, I saw a really fascinating thing this morning about counterparts. Um, maybe I'll save it for a different reading. But it was about how when the masculine comes back in, if the feminine is just sitting there by temperance in the well, you know, splashing her feet in the water, yay, you're back! <laughs> There's no lesson that's learned. <laughs> the lesson is not learned. <laughs> um, anyway, it needs to change. Anyway. Let's get, um, I want to see this, I want to see their current intentions, because it's, it's got to be more than sex, okay? We have healing, oh, king of swords. So we have king and queen of swords coming out, air signs, oh my gosh, I forgot to, I forgot, I'm supposed to be mentioning the signs. This is what I mean, okay? We have, we have temperance, we have Sagittarius, we have Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Emperor, which is Aries energy. We have the Sun, which is Leo energy. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We've got Devil energy, which is Capricorn. We've got Ace of Cups, which is Water. Anyway, <laughs> this is what I mean. All the signs are typically here. Um... High Priestess. So their intentions, King of Swords, to bring you truth and clarity, to reveal something to you, reveal those feelings that they've been hiding. Remember those hiding the feelings. That's High Priestess energy. So they want to bring in truth and clarity. Ten of Cups, their intentions. So they do want happiness here. For some of you, maybe a baby. Um, those are their current intentions. I'm going to get another one. 
Show me this person's intentions. Show me their intentions. Knight of Pentacles and what is in near future energy? Knight of Pentacles. So their intentions are to move slowly, take things slowly coming towards you. And that's possibly why in the near future you're hearing from them. Three of Cups. How's it going? How are you? Um, three of Wands. Next stage in love. Forward movement and progression. I think it's interesting how I brought up that video that I watched about how you need to change the approach. So if you do the things you always did in the past when they reach out, the same cycle will repeat. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, high Priestess. Interesting. Let's see their next actions towards you. What action will they take? We have the Knight of Swords. Okay. Um, all right. The next action that they're going to take. I am going to be very honest about what I'm seeing here. Next action. So they are. They're coming in slowly. They want to take things slow. Their intentions. They come towards you slowly. Knight of Pentacles. Their intentions are to take things slowly. But this is what I'm seeing. This person is coming towards you before they're in emperor energy. So they're coming in before they're ready. Um, we also have the tower in reverse, divine intervention in reverse. So it almost feels like they're taking, you know that card, it's time. They're feeling like it's time to come towards you. It's time. It's time to make their move. Where this is in reverse, it feels to me like they're taking divine intervention, divine timing into their own hands, and they're coming to you before they're ready. I'm going to be honest. Four of Pentacles, baby emperor energy. They're trying to embody this emperor. They're starting to see the light. They're starting to see the error of their ways or whatever. But there's something here <clears throat> where they take matters into their own hands and they come towards you devil energy out of lust and they take action towards you before they're ready and we have the sexual encounter so this is what I mean I'm going to be honest with you I feel like this person who is starting to wake up there's a reason I brought up that video that I saw there's a reason um, there's a reason I saw that video this morning there's a reason I started thinking about it in this reading and this is what I mean I feel like you're going to have the same old thing happen Counterparts, you know what I'm talking about. This person is going to reach out to you because they're feeling like it's time. They need to feel your energy. They need to see if you still want them, if you're still interested. Again, it's not intentional. It's energy. Knight of Swords, they're coming in very impulsively in baby emperor energy, insecurity. They're coming in insecure, so they're not coming in stable. And we have sexual encounter here, so it feels like they... They get the urge to come in because they and they're they're like, I want to take things slow. That's their intention. And then they get Knight of Swords. They act impulsively. They act in the moment from a place of lack. That dog, that's not my dog. <laughs> that is not my dog. Anyway, that's a little yappy dog. And my dogs are big and yappy. <laughs> um, anyway. This is exactly what I'm talking about. They come in with good intentions, wanting to take things slow. And then devil energy takes over that test. And they act impulsively because they're feeling maybe like, oh, I'm not sure if this feminine still wants me. I'm not talking about gender. I'm not sure if they still want me. I'm not feeling, you know, I'm not feeling like they really want me anymore. They're not like falling all over me now that I'm back. And that's when they start that sexual encounter. I'm hearing like, I'm hearing sexual validation. You know, I'm hearing them impulsively from a sense of lack, trying to have the sexual encounter with you for validation, you know, to have their ego stroked. <laughs> anyway, that's not the only thing. But anyway, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that they're coming towards you with good intentions. They're starting to see the light. But something happens when they actually communicate with you, when they actually talk to you, they start feeling insecure and then they offer you this, you know, sexual rendezvous or whatever. 
Um, I'm, you, you have free will, but I say don't do it. I say don't do it. This is fascinating to me because we have you knowing your worth, raising your vibration from knowing your worth, not, ex not accepting, I don't, I'm hearing breadcrumbs, not, ex not accepting breadcrumbs or little shreds of sexual attention or whatever. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing... For some reason, I'm hearing protecting your castle. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, protecting your castle, very interesting. Like, not letting anybody into your castle, if you get my drift. <laughs> um, and we have, what does that cause when you embody this feminine energy? You know your worth. You know your worth more than a little quick check-in and a sexual encounter. We have the King of Pentacles, and it says taking love seriously. So it causes this person to take this seriously, you know? Very interesting. Again, I think it's weird that I watched that video um, about communication today. But anyway, like it didn't really... I was like watching it without knowing why I was watching it, if that makes sense. Because um, I didn't even agree with some of it. Like it, to me, sometimes on... Sometimes the way that like people talk about relationships on and like how to play games, I just don't understand it. Anyway, that's the vibe I was getting like, anyway, again, when I first started watching it, I was like, this is weird. Like, it's like she's teaching people how to play games with people, but from a divine counterpart standpoint, she had a point. She had a huge point, even though she wasn't talking about divine counterparts. That's how I took it. Um, anyway, it causes this person to take things seriously. So let's look at the future of this connection. We have six of pentacles. Generous, fair, balanced, reciprocal connection. Getting your worth. Three of wands, next stage in love. So again... Protect your castle. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I actually want to see what will happen if this, this is weird, but I'm going to ask what will happen if this, if this test is failed, you know, if this person comes in wanting to take things slow and then all of a sudden you're giving the castle away, I kind of want to see what's going to happen. I kind of want to see. We have King of Swords, emotional detachment, Ten of Wands. So very interesting because this is a colder energy. It feels like, it almost feels to me like it'll give your person the clarity that they need that, you know, you still want them. We have emotional detachment, so it's not going to help them. It's not going to help them attach to you emotionally, you know? It's only going to validate their own ego. It's only going to stroke their own ego. Um, very interesting because we have clean up in reverse. So it feels like it's just going to make the situation messier. Um, because doing the inner work in reverse. So it's like this person doesn't need to do the inner work. They got their cake and oh, I was talking about having your cake or the cake in the oven. They want their cake what is the saying? I'm terrible with expressions. I don't understand them. They want to have their cake and eat it too. Um, but this cake is not done. That's what I'm seeing. Anyway, so I want to get... <laughs> uh, sometimes when I'm channeling, I just, I don't remember any of it. Um, I want to get you some of these divine truth cards from your person. So let's cut the deck and see what we're dealing with. Arrogance. I allowed my pride and ego to get in the way of our connection. Hmm. Stroking that ego. I told you. Player. Emo immature lover that lacks emotional intelligence. Beware of their intentions. I'm telling you, beware of their intentions. This person is coming in with good intentions. They, they are. They're coming in with good intentions. 
But it's like once they're in your energy, those intentions go out the window and they start thinking with their love stick, if you know what I mean. <laughs> their ego gets in the way. Anyway, I think that's interesting on the bottom because that's what I was channeling in this reading. Beware. Beware. I feel like this is more of an ego fix, them coming in. We have evil eye. All eyes are on you. There is jealousy, envy, negativity being thrown your way. So your person could even be jealous of you and your growth. Perhaps, you know, they're coming in. I Sometimes there's that energy of someone coming back in just to know that you still want them so that they can leave you hanging and have that sense of power. Butterflies. The butterfly knows the beauty of change and it settles when you least expect it. I'm hearing... It's interesting because what I'm hearing is about your transformation causing ripples with this person. Like, Do you hear that? Maybe you don't hear that. Somebody is outside yelling. Interesting. Maybe your person's yelling. <laughs> We have picture perfect. Oh, sign. So we have picture perfect. You are beautiful inside and out. I stare at your pictures all day long. We share everything with another one another. You get me. Best friends. Missing your friendship. Three of cups. You know, one, they have good intentions when they come in. They just want some of your friendship, you know, because they miss you. But it's like once they come in, that devil energy, that ego takes over. They remember that they feel insecure. And then they want that ego stroked. We've already talked about it. The silence between us has given me... The insight needed to set my soul soul free. Remember, I told you the light is on, but it's like they're rushing things. The light is on and they're like, okay, it's go time. No, it's not. Calm down. Um, and then that player energy. So beware of their intentions when they're coming in, you know? I just feel like this is almost a test, you know? I almost see like the imagery of a cycle that's about to... It's like a test and this will only keep moving forward and evolving if you pass that test. Anyway, what else does your person want to say? I'll talk. I'll talk. I know you were tired of hearing my excuses. I'll talk, no actions. And the fact that this is coming out on top of player... I feel like this person, again, coming towards you, good intentions, I'll talk right now more time needed i'm telling you more time needed that batter is still cooking we have shattered batter shatter <laughs> old habits are breaking down and a new version of them is being revealed i try to give more understanding of others and give them the benefit of the doubt that's your affirmation anyway i don't think that applies to i think it applies to your person but not this that sexual encounter is coming in very strong. Um, I'm going to switch to the other deck here in a minute. Fragmentation. Avoidant. I really want to be close to you, but I avoid emotional attachments out of fear. And remember what happens if you give in to this sexual encounter. They become, a they become even more emotionally detached from you. Fragmentation. Until we make our shadows conscious, we will still continue to hurt others. Again, the light has gone on. Interesting. Let's get the other half of that deck. And then I actually might get you one from this love deck that I keep shoving in your face. <clears throat> Let's cut the deck. Transformation. Remember I said butterfly, you transforming, causing an effect, causing a ripple effect. I am making conscious choices to transform into my higher self to be with you. I almost feel like your person is like, I'm making conscious choices to transform into my higher self to be with you. So just watch out if I come back in prematurely. <laughs> it's like they're coming through in the 5D <laughs> saying, please don't let me, um, don't fall for me. <laughs> like, don't fall for that. Don't fall for it. Anyway. 
We have dancing in love. I am surrendering to the cadence of your soul. Surrendering to this connection. Heartbreak, the wrong choice was made and now they sit in pain of losing you. Remember the very first cards, current energy being ripped apart. It's interesting because I've been trying to do this reading for, I set this reading up two days ago, three days ago. I set these cards up on my desk, planning to do this counterpart reading and every day I was like, nope, not the right time, not the right time today, right time. Chasing, regretting their past actions and realizing letting you go was a huge mistake. Truth. Cadence. It's interesting because that came out. I saw that earlier. I saw that earlier, but I didn't mention it. You are my muse, my inspiration to create. You ignite my soul. So your person could be someone who's creative in the spotlight. And look, transformation 5D. You made me realize that we are one. Meet me in the stars tonight. So again, this is like someone who's realizing their higher self is telling you they're transforming, but they're not ready for that. But to meet them, you could be having dreams about this person. Extroverted, moving towards you with confidence, ready to show you how much they love you. That's their intentions. I truly believe this person feels like, yeah, I'm feeling confident enough to be like to reach out, you know, and to see if they still want me. But I feel like they, again, there's a test that happens after that. Secrets. I'm a complicated person with many secret, hidden secrets. I keep us a secret for a reason. So this could be someone who doesn't talk to you, to talk about you to anyone, possibly because it's a counterpart connection and muggles don't understand. They don't know what to say. You know, when muggles hear what a counterpart connection is, they're like, oh, that sounds weird. There's so many different fish in the sea. <gasps> you know, there's so many other fish in the sea. Like, why? Why would you just be like, that sounds like a weird relationship. People don't understand it confused i don't know whether i want to be just friends or lovers am i ready for a relationship is saturn in retrograde right now is that right that's interesting because that's the energy that i'm getting this person doesn't know if they're ready but they're coming in anyway and we have black and white I've always tried to be realistic with life, but you opened me up to color. So, very interesting. Let's get one of these love cards. I'm just going to make sure I have the book. Hang on. This deck is interesting. I don't agree with, like, some of it. Like, there's some of it that's very, to me, like, old-fashioned. Like, oh, you need to be a good wife <laughs> or, like, whatever. But anyway, <laughs> um, there is a lot of it that's very, um, that makes a lot of sense. We have compatibility, Hierophant energy. <clears throat> so let's see what you need to hear about this connection. What do you need to hear about this connection? We've got forgiveness, temperance, divine masculine. What was I saying? <laughs> This is the card that I kept talking about, about how eventually the Divine Masculine needs to come in. Oh! Eventually the Divine Masculine needs to come in. This is Temperance Energy, Forgiveness 14. And remember I said I saw you sitting at the pool, the Temperance pool, and it's like this person coming in, expecting you to be sitting there like, oh yay, you're back! <laughs> anyway, that is interesting. And we have yin and yang! <laughs> That's magic. <laughs> I even said yin and yang when I was talking about black and white, which I don't say yin and yang very often. Yin and yang. I can't even believe that came out. Strive for harmony and balance in your inner and outer life through change, reflection, and growth. So I'll just read a little bit of it. Love, relationships, and life in general are infused with the yin and yang energies of both the feminine and the masculine. When feminine and masculine energies flow well together and around each other, you will be blessed with harmony, balance, abundance, and joy. 
When there is too much of one energy or when one is weak, you will be challenged in certain areas of your life and relationships. In existing relationships, there may be too much yin if the female is dominant in some way. Maybe the home is too pretty and the male cannot find, like, this is female and male. Anyway, <laughs> man and wife. <laughs> I don't know what I'm hearing. I'm hearing Princess Bride. Man and wife. Say man and wife. <laughs> it exists. Oh, I already read that part. Or their lives have become all about the children and the sexual yang energy has disappeared. If there is too much yang present, the female will feel suppressed or controlled. Whatever the imbalance, it needs to be addressed. Um, if you are seeking a soulmate, take a moment to sit quietly and tune into your own balance of yin and yang. Do you have the tendency to be too passive, too much yin, with a potential partner, or too aggressive, too much yang? If you always let the other person make the decisions... Or if you are always the one trying to make something happen, then it's time to create more balance. You have drawn this card today so that you consider you can consider the levels of yin and yang in your life and make adjustments where necessary. Make the required changes in your behavior, environment, maybe even your wardrobe. Outer change must be accompanied by inner reflection and growth. You can dress however you want. <laughs> Complete the yin-yang symbol, then close your eyes and meditate on the feeling of your energies being balanced and harmonious once more. Call in whichever one you feel more of, whichever one you need more of, and wear a yin-yang symbol as a pendant for an even stronger connection to the balance of har and harmony it depicts. Anyway, and again, if you are balanced, like if you're... If you're in too much yin energy and this person comes in and they're in super masculine energy, you know, they could want that sexual encounter and you may be very passive about it. You know, you may be like, oh, okay, you know, um, anyway, I don't know why that's coming through so strongly. I've never done a reading where that comes through like that. Um, and we have forgiveness, which I don't know if I'm going to read this one. Let's see. Forgiveness. The quickest and simplest way to reconnect with your greater sense of personal worth and let more love into your life is to forgive yourself completely. You don't even have to know what you are forgiving yourself for. The angels understand that feeling guilty about a whole array of things has been an ongoing part of our lives, and now they say it's time to let that go. So if there's any guilt that you're feeling, any regret over how you behaved in this connection or the you know, the behaviors you put up with, release that, forgive yourself. Letting go of these old energies is a relief, and as the darkness disappears, it creates space for more light and love to flow in. Beautiful. Most people think that forgiveness is about forgiving someone else, but when you start with self-forgiveness, you quickly feel more lovable and find it much easier to accept others and forgive willingly when you need to. This creates space in your life for more joy and deeper personal connections. And then we've got that divine masculine on the bottom. Okay. Uh, 12, hanged man energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When harnessed in a healthy way, the divine masculine creates structure for the benefit of all he touches. The divine masculine emerges in direct response to the presence of the divine feminine. He is always present, but needs positive space created and held by the feminine in order to grow and develop. Let's go to, I'm, I know I'm going to run out of time, so I'm just going to save myself the trouble and go to another part. This masculine energy is characterized by pro protecting what is truly valuable, being attentive, helpful, and able to make decisions. It displays leadership qualities, a sense of accomplishment, and set goals, building and creating the good of all rather than individual gain. Hello, sexual encounter, individual gain. While facing and overcoming challenges with a more linear, direct approach to getting things done. Um, the masculine is sensitive, spiritual, and intuitive, but he approaches and expresses these qualities in a way that are different from the feminine. 
the masculine enjoys getting results and experiencing a physical outcome from his effort. Hello. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> The this is exactly what I was talking about. The divine masculine can move mountains, yet be incredi incredibly subtle at the same time. He needs to return to the feminine forces regularly to replenish himself, which in the past was regarded as a weakness, leading to the distorted approach of attempting to dominate or control the feminine. Yet when he looks around him, he sees that the feminine is available to him in unlimited abundance and he is free. So this is what I meant. Um, he needs to return to the feminine forces to replenish themselves. And that's why Knight of Wands, there's the in and out. <laughs> anyway, there's the in and out energy of Knight of Wands where they come in for that fix and then they're gone again. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm done. That's not what I was expecting with this reading. It went like, it was very interesting. Um, anyway. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. Um, but I'm sending you guys lots of love and light and strength. Remember your boundaries. Remember your worth. <laughs> Some of the things I hear when I'm doing readings is like really weird. Like I just heard something about tickling a pickle. <laughs> You're worth more than that. Anyway, I have no idea why that came out. <laughs> but um, I'm sending you lots of love and light and I will talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>